Hey there guys, today's project is going to represent a pretty significant upgrade to my rainwater harvesting system. As most of you know, my family and I live here in the Arizona desert off of about 90% rainwater that we collect in these tanks and supply our house via this pump house you saw me rebuild a few videos ago. And the only filtration we have done over that uh, 15 years has just been a simple ceramic water filter in the kitchen for cooking and drinking water. But over the years, I've always wanted to upgrade and do a whole house water filter. Uh, but I've just been a little bit intimidated about piecing a system together. So I've just always pushed it on the back burner. Well, today I am partnering with US Water to install one of their whole house systems that has uh, multiple levels of filtration as well as UV sterilization. And that's what I'm going to install today. So let me show you what I'm working with. Then I'll install it and then I'll... Uh, go old school and I'll drink from the hose to see how the water tastes. All right, so real quick before I start installing this in the pump house, let me first just go over the components of this water filtration system and what each of their function is so that hopefully it'll make a bit more sense as I'm putting things together as to the purpose of each individual part of the system. So starting out with the largest component, which is this four chambered filter, the water will be coming in on this side and it will first go through a five micron magna filter, which is this element that sits inside that lower portion. Then it'll go through a radial carbon filter right here. And from there, it'll go through a one micron magna filter, which is this element. And finally, it'll go through an interceptor filter right here. And I'll include the details in the description or in the bottom half of the screen as to the specifics of what each one of these does. And then from there, the water will exit here, go through this stainless steel tube up to the UV filter chamber. This is, has a UV bulb in it and a charge controller and the water will be sterilized there. It'll exit on the far side and go back into uh, where my pressure tank is and ultimately onto my house. And then if you're wondering how these get in here, each one of these screws off with the assistance of this wrench and then the filter element simply slips inside these chambers and that is it. So right now I've got the main filter housing installed on the pump house wall. And the next thing I wanna add is the ultraviolet chamber. But before I add that, I have it sitting vertically like this because I need to add a quartz sleeve in this end that will ultimately house the ultraviolet bulb uh, that'll keep the bulb separated from the water that is flowing through this. And I've just got a little foam on either side so this doesn't rattle around because the sleeve is pretty fragile. And that's why I've got some gloves on to keep any oils from my hand um, from getting on there. All right, so here it is. Kind of looks like your test tube beaker from science class. So I'm just going to, as carefully as I can, place this down. And it should kind of uh, fit in a little spring tensioned funnel at the other side. 
All right, there we go. And I need to add an O-ring right here. And I just lubricated this O-ring with a little bit of water. And there's a little area inside. It's kind of like a beveled section. It's going to rest on around this uh, quartz, quartz sleeve. And the next thing I want to add is this little spring. And this is what the bulb is going to be uh, held in place securely uh, within this sleeve on. So I've got my O-ring set within that groove and then I just need to add this cap and that is going to seal the water from getting inside this quartz tube. And they say that you just do it hand tight. So no tools, no tape because the O-ring is uh, what's doing the seal. So now I've got one last connection to make from the outlet of my ultraviolet chamber running down to this copper PEX adapter which will charge my pressure tank and ultimately send water to my house. And after that's done, I will charge the system, see if there's any leaks. And uh, if there are no leaks, especially up in the ultraviolet chamber where that quartz sleeve is, I will then add the bulb, uh, turn that power on, run the system for a couple of minutes and then I will give it a taste test, see how the water tastes. I try to get these as tight as I can just with my hands and then I'm gonna do like maybe another half turn to three quarters of a turn. Okay, so all the connections are made and now it is time to charge the system. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to close this valve right there and open this one and this one so that I can have that full circuit through the filter, through the UV chamber, and back down where my pressure tank supplies the house. But what I need to do um, is to make sure there's no air bubbles in here. The top of this ultraviolet chamber has a little plug for an optional monitoring system. 
So what I did there is I took that plug out and I'm just gonna fill this up real slowly until all of the air is purged from there. Then I will add this back on with this nut and then I will pressurize it, let it sit for you know maybe 20 minutes just to make sure there's no leaks and then I will turn it on. I just had this valve cracked just a little bit. So it's currently filling up the chambers. And once it goes up here, once it just uh, bubbles out of here a little bit, I will close this on and then open the valves completely full and then check for leaks. Nope, almost. Okay, so I purged all the air out of the system and I'm just gonna get everything dried off really nicely. You can see I reinstalled that nut with the little plug and uh, I'm just gonna wait and see if there's any leaks. It is pressurized to about 50 PSI, uh, which is what I run my uh, pump house at. And it has been a little over an hour since I last checked on it and nothing has been leaking. I've been running uh, water through all the hoses all of the fittings are tight and dry and most importantly i've been shining a light down this tube to make sure there's no water in where the bulb is going to sit so that's what i'm going to do right now i'll install the bulb and drink some water from it right, last step is to add the bulb and you can see i'm doing it from the outside through this little hole i cut and the only reason i did that is because i have a small pump house and that was the only area i uh, had kind of stashed away for this filter system. Uh, so I'll make a little door that'll keep the weather out, but whenever I need to maintain it or change bulbs, I'll just open it up and do it from out here. All right, well, the moment of truth for the taste test, I could do this inside or outside, but it just seems more authentic coming from a hose bib. So let's do it. It tastes like water. <laughs> There's no flavor, it's just, it tastes like good water. Well, I think that's gonna conclude the installation portion of this video. As of right now, the system has been up and running for just over five days and I've had zero issues, as you would expect from something you just installed. I don't think US Water Systems would still be in business if they weren't putting out quality products. And as for the taste of the water, it tastes great. Um, I mean, there's really no taste, it just tastes like good, clean water and I'm very happy with the product. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do now is try to answer some questions that I think uh, some of you may have that I might not have covered while installing this. And the first of those being uh, pressure loss. I'm guessing you might wanna know if I've experienced any pressure loss from the 50 PSI at the pump house to like running faucets and hoses and stuff like that. Well, I have experienced no pressure loss that I can discern. I haven't put a pressure gauge on there, but just from taking showers, brushing teeth, filling up the goat's water, uh, I haven't noticed any drop in pressure. Obviously a year from now, as it, uh, the filters become uh, clogged with uh, particulate, I would expect it to go down. But in, the, in that case, it's just time to change the filters. And uh, the next thing that some of you may be wondering about that I wondered about because I plan on putting a small solar system on this pump house in the future um, was if the UV system is solar compatible, um, if the draw of the UV lamp is going to be too high. Uh, well, I called uh, US Water and I asked them what the uh, 
draw output or the U, uh, UV lamp was, and they said it's less than 1.5 amps. So big solar system, small solar system, this shouldn't be a problem for anything you wanted to set up. Another thing I think some of you may be wondering about is whether U.S. Water Systems makes these type of water filtration systems just for folks living off grid or harvesting rainwater. No, they make systems everywhere from residential all the way up to commercial, uh, from very comprehensive systems like this and beyond, uh, all the way down to individualized component systems. So, you know, perhaps somebody lives in a municipality, uh, you know, that has some things in your water you don't want to be consuming like chlorine or fluoride or lead uh, and you want to just have the filtration component you could have a one or two uh, chamber filtration system for that um, or maybe you're on a well and you happen to have a little bit extra sulfur or some other mineral that you're not wanting to consume you could do it just for that or maybe your water is really clean and you just want a uv sterilization chamber to add to your municipal setup you could definitely do that as well the next thing on my list that I think some of you may be wondering about is the difference in quality of water after the filter versus what it's like sitting in my tanks. Uh, well, I don't have an answer to that right now. I figure I'll run, run this system for a while and then maybe I'll look online to see if I can have some water testing centers. Um, and then maybe what I'll do is I'll send just tank water that I've collected rainfall um, and then I will do my ceramic filter inside the house and then I will do a sample that is coming directly from this filtration system and on a future video I will give you those results uh, because I think that'd be pretty interesting. And another couple of things related to the install that you may have noticed but I didn't specifically cover during the process. Number one, you may have noticed some piping underneath the main filter housing and uh, might be wondering what that is for. It has an extra uh, shutoff valve. That is just to allow me to be able to drain the system uh, for when I need to switch out filters, drain the pressure out of the system, as well as uh, eventually that piping will be extended so that I can have a little outdoor sink right here. That'll be a future project. I'm planning on casting it out of concrete. And then the other uh, thing you may have noticed uh, when I was installing the components of the system, uh, virtually everything has a sticker on it with a little phone number. And it says something like, uh, have questions, please call this number. Well, I talked to the folks at US Water and they said all of their customer service uh, technical representatives uh, are equipped to do video chats. So while I didn't find this very difficult at all to install, it was pretty uh, cut and dry, um, I think that is a good benefit in case someone doesn't commonly put things, uh, parts and pieces of things together. Um, just knowing that you have that in your back pocket that you could do a little video chat with a person who installs these systems all the time uh, so they can answer any questions you might have. Okay, well, I hope those last few minutes uh, hopefully answered any questions that you might have had that I didn't cover during the first portion of the video. And uh, if I didn't address a question that you might have, just put it in the comments and I'll try my best to answer it there or maybe in a follow-up video. Um, as for what is to come next, I think uh, last video I told you my greenhouse project and the updates I did was going to be one of the next videos. Well, that may need to get pushed because uh, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but our mama goat is pregnant and she's due to have babies around Christmas or New Year's. Um, so I need to build like a little kind of nesting habitat inside the hay barn uh, for her and the babies to uh, you know kind of have a nice little birthing area so maybe that'll come before the greenhouse one but anyway uh, as always I appreciate you guys watching uh, I will be sure to include a discount code down below in the description and uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it hit the subscribe button for more content and until I see you again God bless